Hey, it's Brad. And it's Jeff. Uh, we're looking at Halo Wars today. Remember Halo, right, Jeff? Uh, yeah, I do remember. So you run around, you get that sword, there, you jack dudes with the sword. There's a guy in green armor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait, not so much here. Uh, yeah, so there's Halo Wars. This is like 20 years before the, the whole Master Chief storyline. Oh, you mean the Halo incident? Yes, that one. Uh, so this is uh, this is the third mission in the game. This is right after what happens at the end of the demo that's out on Xbox Live right now. So if you just want to try this game, just go download the demo. But uh, this is a little deeper in the storyline. Um, what's going on here is the Covenant has found this uh, this kind of ancient uh, installation on this ice planet. Uh, and humans have basically come in to see what they're so interested in. Uh, and they've infiltrated the installation, and now here come, here come some, uh, some elites to uh, mess us up. Oh. That guy caught a needler in the back. It's like a hot one. Alright, now I'm going to grab one of those needlers and give it back to him. No, you're not. What? Alright, I'll stick... I guess get the shotgun then? Like, uh, what are we nope. talking here? Right? Sorry, nope. So I guess we are the backup. We are indeed the backup. Uh, so uh, obviously it's an RTS, uh, and this is one of those kind of dreaded RTS missions where there's no base building. It's, uh, it's basically just you know here's here's the units you're getting, you know make do with this. Uh, so you can't can't build any structures or pump out any additional units in this one. Uh, and so obviously we're uh, we're playing co-op here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting over at an entirely different machine. Jeff is not even here. We are yelling across the room right now. Uh, so I, I, this is, uh, I guess this is how the co-op works. I'm uh, going, man. You basically uh, have double the, well, not double the units, because I guess in single player you still get these two tanks, but uh, we are each control our own thing. Uh, these are these are grizzly tanks. Uh, kind of like scorpions, but... But bears. Exactly, yes. <clears throat> like bears with stingers. So the secondary ability on these tanks seems to just be like a fattened missile. Yeah, it's just like this kind of wide area here. I'll just uh, I'll just use it. Oh, mine's already all used up. I'm waiting for it to recharge. My guy is not using mine. There it is. No, that's not it. Shoot these guys. I guess mine is also not working at the moment. Yeah, if you see the the Y button there down it there, it's, it's kind of yeah. circling full. Over here on my end. I, I think I was uh, stuck on you there. Uh, yeah, so a lot of the a lot of the units in the game have like active kind of offensive abilities. Yeah, like the the regular warthog or something. It, its alternate ability is just run dudes over. Yeah, right? it's a ram. The little icon is a ram with horns. So that's very cute. Um, so the, these grizzlies are like some kind of experimental human tank that they've been working on. Uh, you don't get them in most missions. This is actually kind of a scripted thing here. Pretty much just jacking these dudes. Yeah, hunters. So I guess there's a, you find secondary objectives in each, each mission. This keeps popping up and saying, like, how many hunters have been killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you get uh, it's it's it seems so it seems like they've put a lot of effort into making this very Halo-like, and you get like a cumulative score at the end of every mission. Right. A lot like Halo. And it has skulls like it's got, too. It's got skulls. It's got like bronze, silver rating, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, and all those uh, the secondary objectives contribute to that score. There's usually at least like three or four per mission. All right, those guys are now dead. Totally dead. I thought he was going to get away, huh? Nope. I'm not doing too good. I'm on fire. Uh, I, I seem to be doing okay. I don't know. Uh, can you heal in this mission? Uh... Nope. All right. Yeah, so when in, in the missions where you build bases, you can actually use some of your resources to just cast like a, a healing, like aura or something. Yeah. So it's like an area of effect thing that'll heal all units in that area and structures too. Which yeah, I yeah, was, yeah. Was kind of interesting. Actually, I, I, as far as I can tell, that's the only way to heal structures so far. Yeah. That I've seen. Uh, yeah, I'm popping up the little uh, command window over here. Uh, so the spirit of fire is kind of like your mothership. Uh, that's where you're like that's where the healing power comes from. They've also got a Mac cannon. It's just like a gigantic orbital blast. 
kind of blow up a bunch of buildings in one shot. Do you have access to that over there? Uh, I, mean, I can pop up the window, but I basically have no real powers. Okay, moment. I was going to say, because the only thing I have over here is, like, I can transfer command of my units to yeah, you. Yeah, that's, that's all that I've got, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, another gun is shooting. Shoot, shoot back, back, dude, shoot back. Uh, another power in some of the missions is you can actually call in, like, a pelican drop, and they'll pick up units and move them to other places. Huh. So you can, like, cross water and stuff like that. Hey, hunters, check this out. Oh. Uh, All right, so now we each have some more units, right? We got dudes. There's the, uh, there's the little kind of paint select that they have come up with for this game. Basically, like, you, you pull up this, this, this wheel here, and then you just sort of touch the units that you want to select. Was that like you hold down A to... Yeah, and it kind of fans out. Okay. Uh, it's, it's kind of blunt. I mean, it's really broad, so it's kind of hard to specifically select units that you want. You're pretty much going to get whatever is on the screen at one time. Die, die, die! Dude, you're going the wrong way. Oh, yeah. It's this way. Okay. Follow the arrow. What arrow? Oh, that arrow. That's an arrow. <laughs> like, dude, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's, it's usually pretty good about uh, pointing you straight at your objectives. Cool. Um, it's not always one objective, though. Some of the later missions have... Some dudes rolling up behind you. Whoa. What's going on here? Rolling right into this... Uh-oh. Grunts getting devious. Jerks. That's just grunts being grunts, man. Yeah, yeah. that's what they do. Well, yeah, we See, forgot. I was going the right way. We forgot the most important part. All units. All units. All units. All units. <laughs> All units. That grizzly's not doing too good. I don't remember this being so hard in single player. <laughs> well, I guess it makes sense that they would make it, you know. Yeah, it, it definitely actually, I, I set it on normal difficulty, but it actually does seem a little harder. Considering All right, my, so I'm uh, over here at the bridge controls. My tank is down in the red now. So, uh, okay, so you have control of, uh, uh, I totally can't remember her name. Anders, I think, is that she's like the scientist. Scientist lady. Yeah. All right. So she's you have, she's you have scientist lady, and I have bald commander guy. Okay. Uh, Forge. Uh, so yeah, those are kind of like not exactly hero units, but they're they're named units, and they do have like some kind of unique abilities. And when they fall, that you can revive them. Yeah, they're not going for good. Since they're story dudes. Yeah, it would break the story if they were dead. So. Uh, so I'm going to hang here and, and cover the doctor for the next 40 seconds or so. Okay, yeah, so she's, what's she doing? She's, so she's hacking the she's bridge hacking now. hacking the bridge, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Yeah, so the hero units, and this covers uh, Spartans too, even regular Spartans in the, in the campaign. If they, if they die, they just lay there and recharge. Oh, so I can totally repair your tank. Oh, yeah? Anders can repair, it looks oh, sweet. like. So. That would be nice. Cause, 20 seconds uh, until she's done hacking, then I'll, I'll see about your tank. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to give too much about the game away, but uh, when that bridge comes back up and there's dudes on it, uh -huh. and you have the chance to remove the bridge and kill them, there might be an achievement involved. Okay. I didn't. Uh, I didn't manage to do that in the single player. So by removing the bridge, do you mean I need to rehack the bridge controls? Or? Yeah. Like uh, I don't think she has to do it. Uh, okay. Yeah. So she's got the bridge up, and then when these guys come across, just. Uh, Okay, it looks like they're dead. Not, not sure what happened there. Okay, I'm repairing your tank. Optional, use the bridge to kill Covenant units. Deactivate bridge. Can I do that? Yep. Oh, there's nobody on the bridge. There was one guy on there. So I guess the, I think the achievement is for five. Uh, so let me... Uh, I'll pop up the the command window here. So we've got the we've got the kill forty five hunters one. Uh, looks like we did complete the use bridge to kill dudes. Uh -huh. uh, those so those, yeah those all just tack onto your score. Um, oh here they come here they come. Okay yeah this is the the same problem I was having before. So units. your units are, are pretty kill happy. 
Like if they're even close to enemy units, they're just gonna start attacking. I think we should just go. Well, I think I took some of my units, but I got five points for the Covenant <laughs> hot drop. <laughs> there you go. Totally worth it. All right. All units. Let's uh, <laughs> shall we move on? Do we need to reactivate the bridge? Yes. Okay, it's it's charging back up. There, there it is. Goes. All right. All units. And there are more gentlemen over here, but. We already got the achievement, so I just say we <laughs> just mow our way through. I'm moving. All units. I'm assuming you just like a regular Halo game, you could play the whole thing co-op if you wanted. Yeah, it seems like it. I mean, it uses like a really similar looking party system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the uh, menus, which is like, nice. I, I like that. It actually it seems like they went to pretty great effort to make it look like Halo. Yeah. Okay, all so units. I guess we go. Let's all units back this way. You got it. Yeah. All units. All units. All units. All units. All units. All units. <laughs> I'm going. I got some dudes behind us. Yeah. Leave them. If I leave them, do you mean kill them? Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Sure. Go ahead. Okay, they're dead. On the way. Yeah, that uh, the I'm special on. attack of this grizzly tank is pretty vicious, especially on infantry. It is. It really makes me wish that I had it in the rest of the campaign. Well, uh, maybe you get to build it later on. The, it, possibly. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the regular scorpions have an upgrade that is fairly similar. Hmm. It's not quite as much of an area of effect, but it's still a pretty pretty good blast. So it's probably worth pointing out to people in case, I mean, you know, they don't realize kind of the ramifications of the time in which the game takes place. Master Chief's not in this game, right? Uh, not that I can tell, no. Like, I, I'm not perhaps steeped enough in the Halo lore to know exactly when he was, like, fitted with his armor and everything, but he may not even exist as a Spartan at this point. Well, it's kind of interesting because there's actually a, in the menu, there is a something marked Halo Timeline, and I guess as you complete missions uh, in this game, you unlock kind of more points on that timeline yeah, that you yeah. read and, and kind of read up on uh, what the hell happened throughout Halo. Totally, yeah. Um, and it lets you know, I mean, it talks about some of the stuff that was previously like only in the books, like the fall of Reach. Yeah, I haven't stuff. I haven't unlocked a whole lot of those entries yet, but it does seem like a good primer for the series if, uh, if you don't totally know what's going on. If you haven't, you know, read all the novels like you have, I'm sure. Oh, dude, you know, I'm always reading Halo novels. <laughs> Because the the writing is really good. That's video game novels. Whatever. I've never read a video game novel. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I read the Mass Effect novel. It wasn't terrible. It's a pretty glowing endorsement there. Not terrible. <laughs> Not terrible. Okay, we're supposed to escort these guys to the landing zone. So am I to assume that? These uh, hunters are just going to keep coming out of this hole forever. Yeah, by escort, they just mean get the hell get, out. Okay. So let's let's get let's the hell out. Go. Yeah, that uh, that particular side objective is super easy to complete because yeah, you can just keep killing them as they come. But yeah. uh, definitely, the further in the game you get, the harder those objectives get. I am typically not getting many of the side ones now. About halfway through the campaign. Huh. Um, this is a relatively simple mission, but they they start demanding your attention on multiple fronts later on. Uh, there there are more objectives kind of rolling out over time as things happen. So, cool. Uh, it definitely gets more complicated. We win. Mission complete. Winners Relento are us. So. We did it. Let's see how we did. Good work, Professor. I want to be briefed on your findings. I'll skip this crap. Let's <laughs> see the scoreboard. <laughs> I don't think we can. Oh. But I want to know how we did. Let's drop ship. There's some stuff getting blown up. Yeah. Like that, right? Apparently, did they just only extract the hero units and everyone else is left there to die? We are bronze. I just got 40 points. Yeah? Ice warriors. Very nice. Good job. And five more points. Mama's boy. All right. I'm not going to explore the hidden meaning of that. I'm just going to call this one.
And then yes. 10 more points, back scratcher. <laughs> All right, enjoy those points. I'm liking right. this game more and more by the moment. You guys, you guys enjoy Halo Wars in a couple weeks. We will be back with a full review before then.